Hey guys, Subsworld here, and today we're going to be covering a viewer's RBG game. If any of you guys can guess where I got the intro, I'll pin your comment on the video. Alright, getting into this game, uh, this guy, 2K MMR, this guy, uh, one of the viewers, he's like, hey man, can you cover my game? I was like, sure, hell yeah, dude. We're going to skim through this. We're not going to post a full gameplay because, I mean, who wants to watch sitting a base, right? Um, your poisons look good. Last video I covered, homie didn't even put the poisons on. Not going to lie. All right, looks like you're going to be covering Mage Tower. Okay, good, good, good. Figure out where the rogue is. Um, right off the bat, man, you need to figure out who's sitting BET. Uh, very, very important information, okay? Um, just to let you guys know, like, who's going to be in mid and whatnot is BET an easier cap if you decide a ghost. Um, it looks like you have a tank druid sitting at DR. Interesting play. Interesting. And maybe he should be boomy because um, you can, like, maybe swap out cooldowns, stuff like that. Holy shit, dude. Your team is just getting dumpstered. Yikes, man. Okay, yeah, at this point, man, as leader, as you are with your crown on your head, um, you need to figure out what plays you could be making across the map to win this game. Because um, it's definitely, it's certainly not going to be your team that carries this game on uh, on their back, all right? It's definitely going to have to be you as the rogue. Um, I don't know what your DK is doing, but it looks like he's going to be going FR. That is definitely, most definitely, not the play. Um, before this, like when you're sitting here and watching your team die, you didn't have like vision of the flag, right? You weren't defending the flag when you're sitting there. Make sure you do that, man. Cause I've lost a base before where I'm just sitting, you know, minding my own business, watching mid and the flag gets capped right behind me. Um, little word of advice. Don't let that happen to you. Cause it's kind of embarrassing. Um, so yeah, it looks like your team's pushing back mid looks like you're going to be going yeah since the dk is kind of like fucking you over by coming over here like you have a you have a shadow priest here man like that's not what you want okay so let's let's see how you cap this fly let's see what you do all right spamming your sat macro nice bomb stealth instant restealth okay fan of knives rogue out okay Okay, Trinket Vanish, that's good. Rogue randomly blinds. Nobody's coming, okay, good. I like I like that you're seeing if anybody's gonna be coming to the base, good. Anything, anything, anything? Is this rogue gonna open? Holy shit. Okay, there's the opener. Do you instant trinket blind? Yes you do. You need to be checking if they're coming, nice. What is that, S Priest? Okay, this is where it gets tricky, where that's a DH. So right out of that blind, you could have sapped him and then kidneyed the DH. And it looks like you're taking a shit ton of damage because both of them are there. And it doesn't look like your team's rotating either. Yeah, so right there, out of that blind, you could have sapped him and then dueled him and then spun the flag uh, just in case. Um with fan and knives if the dh is trying to cap but like try and make it so that you don't break your uh sap or your yeah yeah your resap and then you can start using your evasion and all that shit like that um but other than that really good cap dude good job a little bit of kiting action nice rogues off stun dr how how long in, until that dh uh yeah quite a bit i was checking the dr on the dh because if maybe if you wait a few more seconds Right, like step to the rogue. Oh yeah, you should have just step to the rogue, kidneyed, and then by the time the DH came back over, he would have been off stun yard, and then you could stun him again. Yeah, and your team is just not moving whatsoever, dude. I was thinking, let's turn on some audio. All right, good communication from your team. Well awesome, awesome. How is that mid? Oh, there's something. Oh, yeah, yeah, that just came oh, out of okay, flag. never mind. We were just in a dead moment. Hey, Not you good. have those. You have those. Not good at all. Um, so the rogue doesn't have trinket. Call it one target. Get the Boomy DK doesn't have it. trinket. So people like sitting the base. I still don't know what I'm the fuck is sitting like BET. Huh? Um, that's something you need to be paying attention to. Because, like, 
Like I said, I you're, pulled like, they have the flag. Your team like is not smash. winning team fight, man. You are not winning team fight. Like, so you need to be paying attention to trinkets, all that jazz. To make sure, like, you need to get a base. You need to get a base. Um, yeah, I have no idea how I and not you sit on your mount good. either. You need to be sitting yeah, in stealth like, because sure you're just up. letting the entire team, I'm like the enemy forward. team, know where you are. They've already like, when you see me play, they don't have many I probably mount up for like we just need that. Yeah, initial mid, movement um, speed, and then or I'll fake them out. Like I'll make them, I'll make it look like I go I one base, all stealth, and then I'll turn around. You know what I mean? So like I would have yeah, stealthed there, and I would have sprinted all the way that far. If somebody was paying attention to me, owner, or get if get I was paying attention to what you just did right there, I'd be like, oh dude, this guy's going to be off. But if that was me, I would have sprinted my ass all the way over to FR, because if the enemy team's watching you, they'd be like, oh, rogue stealth last seen coming DR. Owner can die. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Everybody should be on him. Can I get a CC okay, so on we that warlock? Right Easy dual cap. Easy dual. Tell me. Cap, 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 cap. Sap. All right, so right here, you should have just dueled immediately because he could have trinketed, one. spun that node like no, no. right away. So it's just best to just duel. Um, as soon as, burnt, you, yeah, as, as, soon as you have the here. ability to. There's no point in even killing him. He's out of mana. Yeah, because he could have he could have stopped that cap with his uh, succubus. That looks like all day healers. Are um, that too. DH before he got in team fight. What you could have done is just sapped him before he even got to the is team fight. Coming back in the um, you can like shadow step sap, and just then you can continue putting regroup. that pressure onto the warlock, so yep. you have so you can stay alive longer. If you sapped him, he probably would have instantly trinketed, and then you can mark for death kidney, and you can just pretty much blow him up at that point. Um, you can probably defend cool blood out at this point. Fifteen seconds of blood out. Okay, your team is yeah, a little slow on the rotating to BT, plotted. but that's okay. At least they're doing it. It's a good thing you have a tank, because if he wasn't, like I had mentioned earlier, he probably would have lost it, because slow rotation. If you have a team that's like maybe like quicker at rotating, though, you don't have to do that, right? right you don't have to have you. a tank set a base. Because um, if you have like a Get just on a normal walk game, elf. right? Let's just say he like he defends 30 seconds less. Nice. No, he's, he's living it up. I don't know. If you just have a boom just gun, tap, but like, you have a team like that. that rotates yeah. quickly, then you can like have a boom gun. But it's probably a good thing you guys okay, have a tank. Kill, uh, blood or mid, Shaman. Okay, what are we doing here, man? Got two healers in mid. Right I don't really kill care about Kill that Get on the warlock. Get on the warlock. Yeah. Warlock can die you don't here. have any healers in mid, dude. You're just gonna lose that. You're wasting time. Oh, like, uh, like there's no point in you guys being mid. You didn't have any healers. Yeah, I was gonna say. Okay, so Druid has flag seeing the base. Got... Spin is more. We need to get more to Blood Elf right now, please. Yeah, we're spinning it. Doesn't seem like the rogues here. Get on the get on the healer yeah, priest. Blind Blood Elf, e please. easily could sap and then just cap, and then blind his trinket, right? I might be able to pop this. Uh, get on the healer priest. It doesn't seem like the rogue is here. Stay on that shaman. Stay on the shaman. CC the one of them priests. Fuck. Okay, you use symbols after your curing ability. Um, that's not effective as like damage-wise, right? When you're popping all your cooldowns, you want to uh, cold blood, cheap shot, dance, uh, symbols, curing ability, eviscerate, mark for death, eviscerate, cheap shot, shadow strike, eviscerate, cheap shot, eviscerate, something like that. <laughs> you want to, but you want to use symbols for curing ability because it. It, it's already been nerfed enough, man. Like, you need that damage. You need that damage input. Because you're not going to be shadow striking for a minute. Not a minute, but like that 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 entire rotation, you're not shadow striking until second cheap shot. So, you're kind of missing out on um, a little bit of damage. Because of. I got big damage uh, in 10. You had to use like Vanish to get your crit going again. So, you kind of missed out on damage. But yeah, like the rogue didn't open up though. Easy, easy cap on that druid. Like, druids are easy to cap, especially Shadow when they're out of stealth. Looks like you go this mid. This shaman's interrupted. Let's get the shaman. He's down on the ramp. Yeah. He's down you on the ramp. He's interrupted. He's you dying. You have a dot. You get the re. Good job. They know you're here though. Um. So it looks like the S no, priest doesn't have trinket, right? So all you have to do is blind the S priest and cap, or er, and then sap the druid three. and cap. Oh, shit, so you sap been, him. Been... Yeah. All you have, all you had to do right there is blind him, and that was. Fine. I, I've... Druid trinkets, and you're still in stealth. Fine. Oh, this is free. All you have to do is 
Let's get on Owner. Sap the S priest that keeps running back and owner forth. Owner priest, owner right? priest up top. Oh. And then oh, bind the druid and you get this flag for your team. Right, I would do it like right here. Sap the S priest. Blind the druid because he's on sap DR. And then cap the flag. Ah. Easy peasy. Because both of them don't have trinkets. DR. Looks yeah. like you just fall it back. Just you wanted. lose the R. Yeah. Trinket it. Yeah, trinket yes. Druid is spam capping. They don't guess nice. what. Sap. Guess what, Guess what, Shaman can spam die right sap. now, interrupted. Dead. Copy. Spam Copy. sap. So I made a video on this, right? When you sap a target, and then you 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 spam resap. Guess what, guess Okay? When you're spamming resap, it will say a more powerful spell is already active until he trinkets, or until it gets to like, what is it, like the four second mark? If it gets to the four second mark, it will resap him. But if he trinkets, like he does, what, Shaman? you yep. just sap his trinket right there. Right, but you have to be spamming sap even after you get the first sap. But really good sap out of self. can die right now. He's interrupted. Dead. Cap it, cap it, nice. cap you get on him into a owner, cheap priest, shot. Owner priest. Owner priest can you die right your now. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Um, he could have spun that. that. He could have fanned a knives. Get on owner. Easier. Get on owner. And if he would have fanned a knives right there, you would have you would have lost. Or you would have gotten it because the DH is there. So you would have lost the base. Well, get on Mica. Let's push Mica. Mica can die. Actually, leave my shit up. He's got no damage. Put him on split red. Right. Right. Don't kill him. If you're running elusiveness, you might stun because it's a huge okay. damage get on the, reduction. Get on, the get on the warlock. Huge damage reduction. Think about oh, it like this, man. To, uh, Think about it like this. Ahead. And like a lot of like rogues don't press faint enough. Okay, and sometimes even me. Sometimes I forget about it. But like it reduces their damage by like I think it's like 15% for eight seconds or whatever. Think about it like this. Would you like to have a buff that increases your damage by 15 percent fuck yeah i would right well just think of it as like decreasing damage right like that's huge that is so huge I, I, i'm i'm body guys you're fine just make sure you're pressing that's what needs to die right now so your kidney oh, kill okay, nice. cool they're probably they're leaving they're pushing mage yeah. tower. druid yeah, has flag mage, again and you just killed the rogue man and you I'll and you see at, that the druid is at fr uh, how so you need to set we need to set good side open get caught out good job you go to BET. Yeah, you need to be going to FR, game. man. You have an H pal sitting in his base. Yikes. That is not They're going to have this base. They're wiping add. us out. Interesting. Um, you need to be need sitting. To or you need to be going over there. Flag. But you need to have somebody sitting in us. Like a world. Uh, we're still not behind. We're still winning. Even if they cap that yeah, flag. We... But yeah, dude. Run over there. Interesting. We need to go with the rogue to flag. Honestly, we just did mid for a couple of minutes. We went. You open immediately. Right there, man, you could have just perma sapped him, right? Even though he has bark skin up. Perma sapped him and then opened after. He trinkets. Instant blind cap. Blind right there, cap. Okay, cap, cap. Cap, cap. Even though he capped the flag, that's not a big deal. And they're hard pushing mid. We need he to doesn't go have mid trinket, now. man. Watch flag, oh, don't let him get it. Find him. We can't even go there, we're just gonna die. You cloak, convoke, that's fine. You run off. Keep him I, I don't understand why that. Man, dude, you should turn around and just to... blinded his yeah, ass. He could have gotten that base for free. The, uh... Making force Your age they're, they're gonna cap the flag regardless. The they have to. You help out. Right. Right. We're not gonna get it. Dodge one, dodge one, almost. Oh shit! What happens here? They probably can't even run it to a tower that fast. <laughs> that was that was a fucking close game. Rogue smoke bombs. Catches you up with a fan, you shot, you cheap shot. Ooh, okay, so uh, even though you're winning the game, right, and that's totally fine, some people like tend to make more mistakes the closer the game is like ending, um, including me, man. It's not a big deal. But just keep in mind that all that was was a cheap shot, nice. right? He would have gotten good the base right there. Shit. You just lost the base. Even though you won the game, like, good job, but. It's like creating like bad habits unless you know what you're doing, right? So you get stunned, you trinketed, he blinds, he he would have gotten that base, right? And then let's say that same scenario was playing out like early in the game, then you would have lost the base again earlier in the game, stuff like that. But other than that, dude, like good job. A few key things: um, clean up your UI, right? Like get rid of the map behind, make your map a little bit bigger, bring these frames in a little bit so you don't have to look as far. Um, maybe bring these frames down so you don't have to look as far up. You want everything kind of like centralized, right? Um, you can double stack these frames so they're side by side, make them a little bit bigger 
so you can see them a little bit better. Um, UI looks good though, I like it, I like it. Kind of reminds me of my own. Um, make sure when you're setting a flag, you always have the flag in your vision, man. I've seen you at MT and we talked about it. Make sure you have your eyes on the flag because you don't want to be embarrassed when you just get capped for like no reason. Um, you could have capped at FR when you sapped him or when you got his trinket the second time and you could have sapped and then he trinket and then blind and then capped at FR again when he had the flag. That would have been a huge play. Um, your team, like, you know, I know you're a leader for your team and whatnot. Just try and try and be a little bit more enforceful on rotating, right? Rotating is always a huge issue. I don't know what happened at your team fight, dude. Maybe it's a healing issue. I don't know. Um, I, I just play rogue. <laughs> I don't know why you guys just got shit on, but try and figure that out. Cause you can't, you can't lose every team fight and win every game. You know what I mean? But Hey, you clutch the game though. Right, you clutch the game by capping a base and whatnot. But yeah, uh, thank you guys very much. Um, I hope you guys learned something from me critiquing one of my viewers' videos. If you guys have a video that you want me to go over and criti uh, critique it, then let me know, man. I am 100% down. Um, it's it's fun. I, I enjoy watching other people play, so I, I would love to critique some of your guys' games. But yeah, thank you guys very much, and you guys have a wonderful day.